Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to Wu Can Cook. My name is Wesley, and this is a show where we are slowly cooking our way through all of the food from my childhood. And today we're taking a crack at a dish that a few folks have been requesting now, which is a Chinese beef chow fun. Beef chow fun comes from Cantonese cuisine and is commonly associated with Hong Kong style street food. Here in the States, it's also a staple of Chinese American cuisine throughout the country and can have a wide array of veggies and meats included depending on where you find it. So more specifically, today we'll be adding to our Bay Area restaurant hack series and taking a shot at the beef chow fun that you can find at a popular dumpling and noodle house here in Oakland Chinatown called Shandong. Now we've done a few dishes from Shandong's menu in the past, but I'm particularly stoked for this one because it will be the first time that we've taken a shot at any of their legendary noodle dishes. So hopefully I can do it some justice. Shandong's version of beef chow fun is fairly classic, using a combination of baby bok choy, bean sprouts, flank steak, and of course, wide chow fun rice noodles. I'll also be taking a page from our Mongolian beef recipe to nail down one of the more tricky parts of this dish, which is the crispy seared beef. So let's get into it. Okay, so to start things off, I'm beginning with the two ingredients that you'll probably find in almost all of my recipes, which is four cloves of crushed and minced garlic, followed by one tablespoon or about one inches worth of finely minced ginger. This will act as the aromatic elements of our wok fry, which will go in very first. Next, moving on to our veggies, I'm slicing up some baby bok choy into halves. You can also use regular bok choy if you need to, but I love going with baby bok choy when I can because it's a little bit more tender and sweeter in flavor since they are harvested a little bit earlier. This avoids that mustardy bitterness that you might associate with regular bok choy, which if you're like me, was a big part of what I remember about choking down veggies when I was a kid. Next up are some bean sprouts, which I'm giving a wash and setting aside to go into our wok very last, and we're moving on to our sauce. Okay, so if you followed my Pad CU recipe a few months back, this might start looking fairly similar at this point. I'm starting off with four tablespoons of soy sauce to start, followed by two tablespoons each of dark soy sauce, oyster sauce, and black vinegar, all three of which made an appearance in our Pad CU recipe as well. These are going to give our chow fun that same signature dark brown color and are also going to contribute to the sweetness of the dish in the same way as our Pad CU. Moving on, I'm rounding this out with two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine, a single tablespoon of Chinese doubanjang for a bit of heat, and a pinch of kosher salt to taste. Then I'm mixing everything to combine and we're moving on to our steak. Now, before we dive in, there are a few things that we need to know about flank steak, mainly that it's a tougher and leaner cut of meat, which is going to become chewy if it's not prepared properly. So we need to do a few things here to help our steak tenderize a bit. To start, the first thing that we want to do is cut against the grain of the meat as much as possible. This is going to shorten the fibers of the meat, making it easier to chew. Now, obviously this is a very large piece of steak, so we'll have to compromise a little, but you get the point. We're going for one inch pieces about a quarter inch thick or so, then setting these aside for our marinade. This is four tablespoons of soy sauce to start, followed by one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of brown sugar, a star anise pod, and a pinch of white pepper. Now, what you want to do is dissolve some baking soda in water and soak the steak in it for 20 minutes before marinating. Don't just toss it into the marinade like this because you won't be able to rinse it off afterward and you'll have a slightly metallic baking soda taste to your steak. Whoops. Once this has marinated for 30 minutes, we're moving on to our noodles. Okay, so a quick side note about fresh chow fun. It is very, very, very perishable. I'll go ahead and refer to our Pad CU recipe here for how many times I've thrown out stale chow fun. Now, what I usually like to do is soak this stuff in a little bit of room temperature water before cooking. This not only helps break the noodles apart, but it also rinses off some of that excess oil that the noodles are packaged in. If you find that your noodles are particularly stale and won't break apart like mine here, which are two days old, pop them in the microwave for about one and a half minutes and they should start pulling apart fairly easily. Yes, that means one noodle at a time a labor of love, but you're probably better off just making sure they don't go stale. 
Okay, circling back to our beef here, I'm gonna borrow a technique from our Mongolian beef recipe and coat the steak in cornstarch. This is going to give it a nice protective coating when we go to sear it in our wok so it doesn't overcook and turn rubbery. The cornstarch should also crisp up a bit as well, which will give us a little bit more of added crispiness too. Remember as always to wet hand, dry hand to avoid batter claws and we're ready to fry. Over on the stove, I'm heating up my wok as hot as possible, then adding four tablespoons of peanut oil, and as always, long yao for your non-stick surface. Then just like with our Mongolian beef, I'm adding my steak a piece at a time, flat side down, and searing on each side for two and a half minutes before flipping. Switch to some tongs if the oil is burning your fingies, and pull them out once you start to see a crisp sear developing on either side. Repeat with the remaining steak, mine took two batches in total, and we're ready to wok fry. Once our steak is nice and seared, it's pretty much downhill from here. I'm wiping down my wok, reheating, adding four more tablespoons of peanut oil and long yao one more time. Then I'm starting off with my aromatic garlic and ginger and blooming until fragrant for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then next I'm following up with my baby bok choy and tossing for about 2-3 to three minutes, just long enough to cook off some of its rawness. Once that's nice and tender, I'm adding my steak back to the wok, followed by my chao fun, sauce, and about a quarter cup of stock. Then finally I'm tossing in my bean sprouts very last. Remember that these are mainly composed of water, so they'll shrivel up if they spend too long in the wok. I'm only giving mine about 1 minute, just long enough to combine. Lastly, I'm seasoning with a bit of salt to taste, and we're ready to eat. This beef chow fun is a super classic noodle dish that just reminds me of every Chinese takeout dinner that I ever had when I was a kid. It has a deep, rich flavor that's full of umami from our dark soy sauce and oyster sauce base, and has a wonderful contrast of texture in the crispy veggies and tender chow fun noodles. The crispy flank steak also really takes this dish to the next level and gives that beef a really interesting and independent flavor that you won't often find in your more typical beef chow fun. Now I admit that the cornstarch coating and searing process added an extra 10 minutes or so to our cook time, but I promise if you take the time to do it, you won't regret it. Okay, so that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it informative. I know we ran through a couple of my favorite chow fun and flank steak techniques with this one. If you're local to the Bay Area, definitely drop by Shandong in Oakland Chinatown and pick up some takeout from them. Anyone who lives in the area will tell you that their noodle dishes are pretty famous around these parts. We'll be streaming this one live this coming Monday at 6.30 p.m. PST right here on YouTube. So tune in and cook with me then if you can. Lastly, if you haven't yet, make your way over to the all new wukancook.com as well. All of the written recipes, the live stream schedule, Wu Cook's Beats releases, and more all live over there. As always, like, comment, subscribe, press some buttons, do the internet and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm in love with your body. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with the shape of when we can we let the story begin. We're going out on our first day. You and me are thrifty, so go all you can eat, fill up your bag and I fill up your plate. We talk for hours and